Today we will discuss about biometric formula and we will cover introduction of biometric formula, historical or refraction based formulas, theoretical formulas, regression formulas, Bergen's formulas, artificial intelligence or AI formulas, ray tracing formulas. Now let's start with introduction of biometric formula. Decades ago, the initial lens power estimation method was tried with patient preoperative refraction only. And the formula was very simple. I well power is equal to pre cataractus refraction plus 19 diopter. But most of the cases, post cataractus refraction may vary depending upon axial length, corneal curvature, early lens changes, etc. And most of the cases, patients don't know their pre cataractus refraction. So, this formula was not that accurate and thus post operative refractive error was high. Recently, we are using more accurate formulas which can give us almost zero or within plus minus 0.5 diopter post operative error. Now, let's see classifications of IOL power calculation formulas. One, historical or refraction based, two, theoretical, three, regression, four, versions, five, artificial intelligence, six, ray tracing. Now let's discuss about historical or refraction based formulas. These were the first attempts to calculating IOL power based on preoperative refraction like IOL power is equal to 18 plus 1.25 multiplied by preoperative spherical equivalent. These were not scientific and not used currently. Now theoretical formulas. These are based on mathematical principles revolving around schematic eyes. These formulas are based in following three variables a axial length, b corneal curvature or cartometer reading, c estimated postoperative anterior chamber depth. There are huge differences between schematic eyes and real eyes. As these formulas are based on schematic eyes, these are also not that accurate. Now let's see an example of theoretical formula. Binkhurst formula. Here P is equal to IOL power in diopter, R equal to corneal radius in millimeter, A equal to axial length in millimeter, D equal to assumed postoperative anterior chamber depth plus corneal thickness. Now regression formulas. This derived from an analysis of previous data of postoperative outcomes of the patient to achieve better result. They have collected lots of data from the patient, those who have undergone cataract surgery, and after analyzing all those data, they have modified few previous variables and added few new variables to achieve best outcome. Like they choose Abares K instead of flat or steep K, and added a new variables that is A constant. A constant is unique for each type of IOL depending upon materials, position of eyes, optic and haptic design angulation. An example for regression formula is SRK1. Here P is equal to IOL power, A is constant for each lens, L equal to axial length, K equal to average characterometry in diopter. Now Bergen's formulas. Bergen's formula arrived at an IOL power using Gaussian optics. Gaussian optics makes an assumption that image Bergen's is equal to object Bergen's plus lens Bergen's. The fundamental weakness of this formula is the accurate estimation of effective lens position. Effective lens position may be estimated using a number of variables. Depending upon the number of variables used, Bergen's formula can be subclassified into two variables, three variables, five variables, and seven variables formulas. Now, artificial intelligence formulas. This formula do use a form of regression. They rely on huge databases and employ artificial intelligence based complex statistical models to identify relationships between variables. Now ray tracing formulas. Ray tracing is a strategy to calculate the path 
that a light ray will travel when passed through an optical system. To describe the eyewell position in this method, the radius of curvature of both anterior and posterior corneal surface, their aspericity, central eyewell thickness, and refractive index of refraction are all used. These formulas can predict eyewell power more accurately in abnormally short or long eyes and in eyes that have undergone corneal refractive surgery. In the next video, we will discuss about 7 generations of biometry formula. Till then, stay with Smart Optometry.